Smith and Wesson M and P calibered in five five six. First we're gonna take out the magazine, check the bolt, make sure it's clear. Then you'll find the two retainer pins on the lower receiver. Push the rear pin out. Make sure that it's fully extended all the way out. Same thing with the front. Pull it all the way out. Remove the lower from the upper. Then you'll pull back the charging handle, which will remove the bolt assembly. Pull your charging handle all the way out, lay it to the side. Then you'll disassemble the bolt. First thing you want to do is flip it over and find the bolt firing pin retainer pin and remove it. After that's out, you can push the bolt carrier back and remove the firing pin. Then you'll want to locate the bolt carrier retainer pin. Rotate it 45 degrees and remove it. And then the bolt slides out. Pull the bolt out, oil it, inspect it, make sure there's no damage, slide the bolt back in. Line up your holes for the bolt carrier retainer pin. It only goes in one way, so you might have to rotate the bolt back over 180 degrees. Then insert your bolt carrier retainer pin rotate it back 45 degrees pull the bolt carrier forward drop the firing pin back into place reinsert your firing pin retainer pin and now you're ready to reinsert the bolt back into the upper first thing before you do that you want to put your charging handle back into place take the bolt assembly and lay it in place slide it all the way forward till you feel it lock into place then you'll take your lower and line up the pins with the upper <coughs> Push your pins back in. Then to inspect the gas tube, you'll pull back the handguard retaining collar and remove the handguards. Then you just slide the handguards back into place, pull the collar back again, and it is tough. Put the lower back on, then take the upper and put it back into place. Slide the collar back again, it just snaps back on. Then you want to check the operation, so you pull the bolt back. Make sure it's locked open. If it locks open, then you put the bolt back together correctly and slide the bolt back forward and squeeze the trigger. When you hear a click, that means the operation is correct and you can reinsert your magazine and the weapon is ready to go. And that's the Smith & Wesson M&P 15 calibrated in 5.56.